all the runners are hoping for nice weather to help them along. Yeah, yeah and it, it, it's actually going to be ideal, which is amazing. But with our warming climate, that's actually getting a little harder to achieve. ABC's chief meteorologist Ginger Z leading the charge to raise awareness. And Danny Beckstrom has the story. Millions of spectators, tens of thousands of first-time runners braving the course, and a handful of elite athletes fighting for first place. They're all hoping for one thing come race day, perfect weather. Obviously, we're looking for you know morning lows in those so 30s and, and uh, 40 degrees with uh, hopefully not creeping up much more than the mid-50s. I think if you look it up uh, out there, 52, 53 degrees seems to be like the ideal temp. But that crisp air so highly sought after by runners may not stick around for marathons of the future. As our climate changes, so too does the fall feel. On average, New York City experiences a week and a half more of above normal fall days as compared to 1970. And that has a serious effect on runners. So if you're going to have the average go up when you have that warm marathon, a degree or two, especially when you look at humidity, like the amount of moisture that's in the air, and that is shifting as well, the amount of moisture that warm air can hold, um, that's gonna change how people sweat, how they evaporate sweat, and then how they finish a race. For runners who have spent months, if not years, training, this is the end goal, the finish line in Central Park. But a changing climate and a potentially warmer race day could really impact their chances of making it here, and nobody wants that. So there are a few simple steps that runners can take to put themselves in the best possible position. Hats always good, keeps the sun off of your, your face, off top of your head, uh, keeps you cool. Uh, don't miss a hydration station. Uh, you need to get water every single time. Whether you're drinking it, put it over your body because you need to keep your body as cool as you can. Sustainability and mitigating the harmful effects of climate change is a primary goal for marathon organizers, specifically the brand new Roadrunners team for climate. It is just what it sounds like. It is a team that cares about the climate, but also loves to run. And there are just so many ways to bring attention to different things. I think that's what marathons are about, right? Yes, they're about running, but if you're not one of the elite runners that's about to win this, it's about supporting something bigger than you. Sustainable steps like raising funds to offset the marathon's carbon emissions, using solar generators to power tents, and taking the Staten Island Ferry to the starting line, all brand new initiatives organizers are taking with the goal of being net zero by 2040. Initiatives they hope will allow millions of runners from around the world to race through all five boroughs for years to come. Danny Beckstrom, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.